apoyando a Yochinapa, apoyando a esos 43 estudiantes que desaparecieron, que se comió la tierra y no sabemos dónde están. Estamos aquí haciendo una ofrenda del Día de Muertos, conmemorando con cultura, con arte y pensando, reflexionando sobre todos los problemas y trayendo la realidad de estas situaciones. missing students in Otsunapa um, is something I think is just an example of um, how we should treat share, like story sharing within our cultures and how we should like continue solidarity how it's necessary because um, if people especially within so-called Canada settlers uh, and non-indigenous people feel like within their culture that they live without story sharing But it's important to like make this the story sharing that every single missing person or every single oppressed person by the state goes unnoticed after five years or ten years that that's just another story that's going to be lost and by sharing that, by continuing to talk about it, by never forgetting it is what's going to, it's going to overthrow the state, it's what's going to bring people together and create a solidarity that will exist forever. My name is Isla. I was here to see the film uh, tonight about uh, the protesters' um, ongoing struggle in Mexico uh, for the 43 missing um, students from Ayotzinapa. It sounds like more people will go missing until um, there is a change in government or a change in consciousness of the people. We came to, to support the committee in, in solidarity with Ayotzinapa, the Vancouver committee. And the only reason why we are here is because we want to support the, the families and mostly all the students in Ayotzinapa. In the film, one of the participants said that they feel they are alone. And we tell them, 
they are not alone. There is a lot of solidarity in Canada and all over the world, and this has been shown over and over that they are not alone. We will continue supporting them. We will continue doing fundraising events. We will continue writing letters of support, pictures, because they are not alone. It's the Mexican government who is being left alone because they are not being supported by the other governments and they have to tell what these students are. They have to bring peace to the families. They, want, they have to bring peace to the students. The students are fighting for their rights. And the students are fighting for their rights not only in Mexico, but all across Latin America and the world. And that's why we are together, we we'll continue supporting them, and we want the 43 students back to Mexico. What we've heard tonight is that people are willing no longer just put slogans on the street, but to put their bodies on the line and, and stand solidarity and make sure no one forgets. They were taken alive. We want them back alive.